my channel and if you're new here my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you. This is Young Womanhood 101 where we share about self-care, healthy lifestyle, college, marriage, relationships, all of the above. And today we're going to be talking about five tips to be more organized and more productive because I'm the queen of being productive and organized and struggling to be motivated to do so. Let's just jump right on into this video. My first tip for you is monotasking over multitasking. I've seen this a lot on TikTok lately, but our brains were not meant to be processing so much information at the same time. What I don't mean is that you cannot multitask ever. A good example of multitasking would be to do your laundry while listening to a podcast. You're doing something with your hands and you're doing something with your brain. So you're not actually overloading yourself. But what is not a good example and something that I do is when I'm at work or doing something on the computer, sending an email, and I'm like, wait, I have to post on Instagram. I haven't posted on Instagram today. So I pull out my phone and I'm typing a caption while writing an email. That's too many things going on for your brain and it was not meant to work that way. You won't be giving your best effort to things when you're overloading yourself in that way. And the best method that I've seen, especially on TikTok, is to work on something for 25 minutes and then give yourself a break. And just focus on that one thing for 25 minutes. Turn your phone on, do not disturb, do anything that you gotta do to be focused on the task in front of you. I've actually been doing this for the past couple of days and it's been helpful. I didn't think that it would actually work, but it's been helping me be more motivated to do the tasks in front of me. Number two is to get out of your space when you're working. A lot of people work from home now, I work from home, and it's so hard to be motivated when you're doing work at home, whether it's actual work, homework, content creation, content planning, whatever the work is for you. It's hard to do it when you're doing it at the same place that you also sleep and eat and hang out. But for me, I found that my brain is automatically more focused when I'm sitting at a place that's designated for me to work. Because if I'm at a coffee shop and I don't get anything done, then I feel like I wasted my time. So what I've begun doing is I have one day a week where I spend four or five hours sitting at a coffee shop and just organizing my life. So I also work for a real estate company during that time. I plan my week plan my content out and I do all of those things just on my computer, get a nice little drink to go along with it and it's such a good method for me. It's worth the $5 that I pay for my drink. I don't know if the camera moved so I'm sorry if it did but number three is to stick to accomplishing only three tasks in one day and I am somebody that definitely defines their worth in what they do. So one of the things that I was struggling with is when I wouldn't complete my to-do list for the day, I just felt horrible at night and I just felt like I failed and I was lazy. So what I began doing is highlighting three tasks for the day that I need to accomplish. And then I put next to it, if you accomplish these three things, you're doing great. And it's just like a little reminder to myself that I am not defined by what I do and I can just accomplish those things and if that's all that I get done that day, then that's good. However, if I do have time, maybe something gets canceled or I just accomplish those things faster than I expected, I'll do some other things like random projects around the house or something. It just depends on what day I'm having if I do more than the three things that I said I was going to do. Number four is to write or type out your tasks. So that you remember them and complete them. I can't tell you how many times I've dropped the ball on a project, on an event, on something I was working on because I didn't write it down and I forgot. The physical act of writing or typing something solidifies it in your brain more. I definitely am somebody that writes and types their to-do list items for each day. Sometimes I even need to have like a brain dump section where I just write everything that I have to do in every area of my life, whether it's all of my assignments, all the content I'm creating, all of the work for the real estate company, and what I'm doing to take care of the house. I just will have a brain dump session sometimes, and it helps me out so much. It declutters my mind, makes me feel more at peace. So whatever it is for you, create a system where you can write or type out your tasks 
so that you actually remember them and you don't drop the ball like I have. Number five, having rewards and goals helps increase productivity and motivation. Everybody needs a goal or a reward that they're working towards. One of my biggest rewards and something I'm trying to get better at but I'm not that good at is to know that my work will be done at a certain time during the day. Most of the times for me, I do stuff at night with friends or social things. So my reward then is I work up to this point and at this time when I'm going to this event, that's when the work's done and I just unplug for that moment. You can do other rewards too. You can treat yourself, whatever you find that motivates you try it out. Obviously don't go overboard. Personally I don't do rewards like food wise because I just feel like that's not super healthy but rewards will help you want to complete your task. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up Subscribe to this channel. Let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me because I love to do this for you. And I will see you guys next Saturday. Bye, guys.